anyway. Yay. Yeah. Mike's Daily Podcast. Welcome to Mike's Daily Podcast. I'm Mike. Welcome to the show somewhere in Podcastro Valley, the last place on earth. Hey. Mike's Daily Podcast. Did someone hack my computer because my cursor looks different? How did that happen? How is it imprinted in my mind that the song is going to be fine? I'm singing to you and I like it. If you like it, don't lie. Do you like it? Do you like the song? No, you don't. It's not your favorite. Dang. Mike's Daily Podcast. What can I do to make it better? That's what I want to know. There's nothing. Mike's. It's just going to be daily what it is. Podcast. And that's why. Yeah. The last podcast was called Respite. This podcast is called. I don't know yet. I don't know what the podcast picture is. I don't know anything yet. All I know is Mike's putting on his cheater glasses because he can't see. And I want to talk about something. That apparently is affecting a lot of people these days, and that is travel. People are traveling. People are moving around and rambling and going on up to, up to there and to over there and up there and looking over here. So that's good for everybody except for moi, because I can't seem to get the heck out of Dodge. But I do need to take some time off. I need to go visit people. I need to travel. But there are some things to remember. Now, for one thing, this whatever this variant is that's going around with the COVID, it's infecting everybody. I have several coworkers now who have come down with COVID recently. I know, uh, and they're all older. So I'm just a little bit worried That part of traveling I don't like People are being extra careful People are being extra daring And trying And here's today's podcast picture To test fate Whatever But I would not like to do such Oh hey So the podcast picture today I think we, We did a nice sunset one The last one didn't we From Pleasanton this one I think will do a podcast or valley picture. See it at mikesdailypodcast.com. I like the nature scapes, the landscapes. Or maybe I'll just escape and do a recent picture of moi somehow in some fashion. See it at mikesdailypodcast.com. And I hope it it charms you and makes you laugh and smile. Like the late great Basil the Boxer did. Yes. All over the place we would walk In the summertime Like anything else Travel comes with risks Common health issues on a trip include Something you may have heard of Called diarrhea There's also Enterotoxic E Coli Diarrhea Traveler's diarrhea Oh my gosh All these Malaria Acute Fibril respiratory tract infections And influenza It's important to take the proper health precautions To protect your children and the rest of your family When traveling around the US Or abroad Start with pre-travel appointments Get appointments with your family Everybody in your family Appointments with their doctors Pharmacists Or travel health clinic Especially if you are pregnant Have children If you're a senior or have chronic diseases and plan international travel. Bring to the appointment your itinerary and medical information, including routine vaccination status, allergies, medications, and health conditions. Discuss travel-related illnesses, how to prevent them, what to do if they occur. Do the visit four to six weeks before domestic travel and two to four months ahead of traveling abroad. To schedule vaccinations and allow time to build immunity. If your destination requires a yellow fever vaccine, only select clinics that offer it. And they may not be close to where you live. You may have to get at least 10. You you must get the certain 
actually the yellow fever vaccine, you have to get 10 days before you travel. The CDC, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, provides guidance on routine specialized shots and medications that you need to travel for, uh, what, that you'll need for travel, and recommends precautions to prevent illnesses not avoided by vaccines, such as through contaminated water, bug bites, and exposure to airborne and droplet sources of bacteria and viruses. Check the CDC.gov for country specific travel notices. Be up to date on routine and COVID 19 vaccines. Other vaccines that may be required include forms of hepatitis, typhoid fever, yellow fever, Japanese encephalitis, meningococcal disease, cholera. And if you're going to handle wildlife, rabies. Pack a well-stocked first aid kit. Pack enough of your medicine for the trip. And carry it labeled and locked in a cool, dark, dry place away from the kids. And that all from the Costco Connection and Linda R. Bernstein. The pharmacist writer, host of DrLinda.tv. And author of Family Vacation Health and Safety Guide My financial advisor today said Hey Mike How do you think What would be the best way for you To monetize your podcast And I said Well financial advisor Here's what I would need to do Is I would need to get a sponsor (laughs) That's so easy Done No it's not easy So if you're doing a podcast If you can find a sponsor You're doing something right But for the average dude like me Not so easy Just saying But if you want to be a sponsor Just let me know You can call me As we go outside a cafe anyway Where you're bringing Mike Sally podcast Somewhere in Podcastro Valley 336MM Daily 3 plus 3 equals 6MM As in Mike Matthews Daily As in what this podcast Tries to be Sometimes gets interrupted Call now 336MM Daily My lovely lady friend and I Have been watching A book A uh, show It's a it's, a it's not a book It's a show Why did I get that confused? Because the show is called The Storyteller. And The Storyteller is John Hurt, the late, great John Hurt. He died of pancreatic cancer a few years back. He was also the war doctor in Doctor Who and played a myriad of other people. He was the one who the alien popped out of his chest in the movie Alien. Great actor. He tells these stories they are usually based on German, Celtic, folk tales, fairy tales. And it was done in the late 80s. Jim Henson was still alive and he supplied a lot of the puppetry. And it looked like it was filmed in England. And as you watch it, you're like, oh my gosh, there's the guy who's the lead character on Father Brown Mysteries. And oh, that's the lady that plays Vera on the TV show Vera. So basically anything that's on BritBox now, those actors all came from Storyteller, the Storyteller. So enjoyable to watch. There's a dog in that. That's the perfect dog puppet, the best dog puppet I've ever seen. From the Henson Studios The Jim Henson people So fun to watch (sighs) Imani Coppola Yes Who? Imani Coppola I'm gonna say In this world Of music That is being retro 80s-esque With the Kate Bush Let us not forget, lest we forget, the amazing artist that came out of the 90s. And maybe if you are a millennial, you love 90s music. Because that will be the next big wave is 90s music. It's already starting to happen. One of those was the performer that sang, I know what you're doing. 
Yeah, yeah. I know what you tell my number. Dion Ferris. And she's still around and sounds amazing. There's like a recent video, I think from the past year, where she sang at some national park in New York. Or state park or some park. She sang, did a concert, and she just sounded fantastic. The Imani Coppola sang... What was her big song? I got... For some reason, I don't know why I have two versions of her... I have two copies of her CD. Legend of a Cowgirl was the song. Where she sampled the... um, Speaking of Dion... Uh, Dion Don, or Don, Donovan did the song she sampled a bit of that to make the song Legend of a Cowgirl love that song that was from the 90s and Dion Ferris was with she sang a line in an Arrested Development song And that's all I got with that. I could go on and on. (laughs) Just, I'm loving it. Arrested Development, a great band from the 90s. And they're still around. So, sort of. I guess I'm outside a cafe anyway. Somewhere in Podcastro Valley. And I guess I'm wrapping it up. Look who's here. Hi, Mike. It's Benita the Rodeo Queen. How y'all doing? That's a disgruntled fiddle player tell you what. What? All that 90s music, that's a bunch of hooey. All the best stuff came out in the 1970s. And the Beatles. Well, yeah, I guess the Beatles is really more of the 60s. But You don't correct me. You shut your mouth when you talk to me. All right, sorry. Look who else is here. Hello, Mike. I make the delicious root beer. Has to run out. Hey, baby. I was talking to someone today about how I interviewed Blake Shelton years ago. And in fact, you can hear that interview at mikesdailypodcast.com. You got to go to the interview section. There's a drop down menu. And I will admit it is not the most organized. Hey, another great album that came out is by David Byrne. And I have always enjoyed this album. It's called Rhea Momo. And he did this, I want to say, circa late 80s. And I can't verify that. 89. There we go. So. And, and, and I also noticed right next to that in my CD wall outside a cafe. Anyway, you should never leave your CDs outside. But I have them out here for a moment. I'm, I'm in the D section. It's also next to Deep Blue Something. Do you remember their song? Breakfast at Tiffany's. I guess we both kind of liked it. I guess that's the one thing we got. Yeah, You know, it's really sad that <laughs> Breakfast at Tiffany's has that whole horrible Mickey Rooney bit in it. And I didn't even realize that was in there. I watched it. I think I was still married when I watched it. Oh, by the way, um, the anniversary of when I got married was yesterday, actually. 7-Eleven. And I I only remember that because it's 7-Eleven day. And you can get a free Slurpee, but you can't get a free Slurpee unless you download the app. And that's a bunch of, I'm not going to do that. So my then wife and I watched Breakfast at Tiffany's. This was at least 10 years ago. More than 10 years ago now. And we did not kind of like it. We were like, okay, yes. We love Audrey Hepburn. And the guy from A-Team. He was in it too. Hannibal. He's in it. But oh my gosh. The Mickey Rooney thing. It wasn't very politically correct. I don't even know if it was politically correct at the time. Yikes. It was not good. So, and be careful how you say the words politically correct. You don't want to say it the wrong way. The, 
there, there's all kinds of things we can do the wrong way in this world. And you just got to be careful. Got to be sensitive. Mike, people are too sensitive. Well, people need to be sensitive, though. You can't, you can't deny that. You can't deny it, baby. We drive each other crazy. That was also a late 80s, early 90s person. Will she make a comeback? Lisa Stansfield? Oh, Lisa Stansfield. If I could change the world. I've been around the world and I, 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 I can't find my baby. I think I found the end of the show, though. Next show, it'll be the wonderful Shelly, Sh- no, Madame Rudebega Valentino and Bison Bentley. And with more on how to reach me and email me, it's A-Frame. Anyway. Oh, and thank you for listening to FF episode 2457-2457. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.